What's up everybody? I got my Toyota solid axle apart for some repairs on my airlocker and I thought it was a good time to do the Toyota fifth stud mod. Thought it was a pretty cool idea. A little bit of added strength for these steering knuckles. They're known to share the studs off the arms. Uh, this is what you're going to need here. A couple nuts and bolts, half inch grade 8 stuff. Uh, a couple brackets I made up. Just about some 3 16 plate steel. You can buy these online. A couple guys make them. I just chose to make them. I'm kind of in a hurry to get it done. Uh, you got to clean up the casting marks on the knuckles and then we'll just uh, get our bracket tacked in place on the arm, pull the arm off, weld it all out, and then reinstall the arm on the knuckle and get set up to drill the through hole for our nut and bolt. And that's pretty much it. Fairly simple. If you got some basic hand tools and a welder, you can get this done and make your steering knuckles a little better. All right, so pretty much good to go here. Just make sure you got a couple studs in the knuckle, uh, steering arms to hold everything square. And then get your bracket clamped onto the knuckle and just tack it in a couple places and then we'll uh, take it off and weld it out. All right, I got these all welded up. Fits pretty good, I'm happy with it. Just took my time, make sure I'm not putting too much heat into the bracket or the steering arm. So I just gotta get my comb washers and nuts back on there. We'll snug it down a little bit, we'll set it up in the middle, we'll drill our hole for the nut and bolt. And that should be it for this. All right, I got the first knuckle set up in my mill vise. And I have a paint stick on this side of the movable jaw because there's two different angles on these uh, surfaces and I need this surface to be flat against the fixed jaw so that I can get the plane right on what I'm drilling. Paint sticks just helping me so I'm not biting into the knuckle at the very top of the movable jaw. I put two bolts in the flange here and use an edge finder to pick up my center, split the difference on the DRO and then it's an inch in from the flange here to get into the center of the, where the uh, hole location needs to be. That's pretty much it. You could easily do this in a bench vise with a hand drill. I just have a mill, so I'm doing it here. So I'll get this first one punched out and see what it looks like. be it for the first one. See how good I did. A bit out of there. This table being all the way down just fits it with the drill and height. I'm gonna have to grind my weld off a little bit on the seam I had there. Get the nut to fit properly, but looks good. Alright, I'll get this out and get the other one set up and bring it back. Alright, all set up for the second one. This is uh, the driver's side. I think it takes longer to set it up than it does to drill it, but that's the name of the game.
Should be it. All right, I think that's gonna be it for this Toyota Fist Sub mod. Uh, I did have to clearance my weld here a little bit to get my nut and washer to sit flat on the plate here. No big deal. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Uh, the next step's gonna be to get these things painted up, get my axle put back together, and get back in the trails. If you're thinking about doing this mod to your truck, go for it. I think it's pretty cool. It's inexpensive. It gives you some extra strength for your Toyota steering knuckles, and you won't break the bank. So thanks for watching.